What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of J. Yells. Back again with another one for you. And this time we have a song that is entitled Come Get to This. And I believe it was originally done by Marvin Gaye, but uh, I was asked to do the version by Joe. Okay, so uh, so this was based on uh, the version that I listened to was Joe, Joe's version. So um, I like to give a shout out to Mr. Shades Michaels. Once again, he uh, uh, donated uh, for this tutorial to be done. So thank you again for your donation, man. I definitely appreciate the support. Uh, this is a nice little tune. I never heard it before, but y'all, I think you're getting used to hearing me saying that. And I'm not lying. I've never heard it before, but it's I like it. It's real nice, real Real, real nice, real nice. So we're in the key of C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Uh-oh. House of Jazz don't know how to play a C major scale. Okay, anyway, all right, all right. We, we, we're not here to do all our scales. Okay. <laughs> so with the introduction, you have a C major 7. C, G, C on the left hand. G, B, E on the right hand. D minor 7. D, A, D on the left hand. A, C, D, F on the right hand. E minor 7. That's E, B, E on the left hand. B, D, E, G on the right hand. Then you're going to jump up to a F major seven chord. That's F, C, F on the left hand, C, E, A. You want that E to make it sure that it's a major seven because you don't want to just play this F because that F major chord, while it will still fit, it just, and we listen to the song, it's definitely as opposed to. You want that major seven. So just, so just make sure you don't make the mistake of playing the F and make sure you put that E right there. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the F major seven real quick and you're going to walk down like that. You want to walk down. So you want to hit F major, then you got uh, and you're going to, and like I said, and what you're doing, um, you can just keep moving down every white key to the left so you start right there and move all your fingers down to then move all the white now all the white keys again and then come down to that's all you're doing all right so you go so this is an f major chord and then you hit it again and this is an e minor seven e b e on the left hand b d g on the right hand if you want to add this e, uh, another e you can do that and then you take and move everything down white keys again to the left. You got your D minor seven, D, A, D, left hand, A, C, F on the right hand. Add this D if you like. And then when you move down every white key to the left again, you back on C major seven, which is the first chord that we did in the song. C, G, C, C, G, C on the left hand, G, B, E on the right hand. So, so far we have... I, I, I did different inversions. Let me show you the same inversions I used. <laughs> I don't want to confuse nobody. Yeah, this is what I, that's the inversions I used. Like that. That's all you're going. That's all, it's okay. So when you come down, you come back down on the C major 7. And then your next chord is going to be a B minor 7. Double B on the left hand. A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Okay, and then you want to go to an E7 chord, E dominant 7, E, B, E on the left hand, G sharp, B, and D on the right hand. If you want to make it an E9, you can add this F sharp if you want to sweeten it up. It's, I don't really hear the 9 in the track unless they play it like this. They could play it like that. I don't know, but... It's up to you which one what you want to use. Okay, and after the the E7 chord, you want to go to A minor 7, double A on the left hand, G, A, C, 
and E on the right hand. And then this first time, you're just going to hit the, you can do your D minor 7 or D minor 9, D, A, D on the left hand, F, A, C on the right hand for D, um, minor 7, add the E for a minor 9. And you're going to kind of just go, all right, so you're going to hit, you're going to kind of, only on the introduction, you kind of hit that D minor 7 or 9 real quick. You kind of go, and then you can keep your hand right on the, those same notes. And but put your left hand on G, and that's basically an F major seven over G, or if you only use the regular F major chord at that part um, um, of this, then it's just going to be an F over G chord. I kind of like having that E. So let's so so let's go ahead on and just do a D minor nine. Let's say we're going to do a D minor nine chord. D A D left hand, F A C E right hand. That's Dad on the left hand, Face on the right hand. And then just put it over G in the, uh, on the left hand, on the bass. F major 7 over G, okay? So here's the introduction. Okay, so that's the introduction of the song. I just need to be able to see my time okay all right so now we're going to go to the verse so when you get to the verse you got it the c major seven chord again and you're going to hold that for eight beats so two three four six seven eight then you're going to do your b minor seven i'm trying not to uh this will be the last time i call out these chords because it's the same chords anyway but just in case somebody was like hey you're going too fast c g c on the left hand g b e on the right hand c major seven that's eight beats, then go to B minor seven, double B on the left hand, A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand, back to your E7 chord. All these are chords that we played already. E, B, E on the left hand, G sharp, B, D. If you want to make it a nine, add another F sharp on the top. That's up to you. And then you want to go to your... A minor 7 chord, and you're going to hold this for 8 beats. Double A on the left hand. G, A, C, E on the right hand. And that's 8 beats. And then you're going to go to, we're going to say D minor 9. It could be D minor 7 if you want. It's up to you. D, A, D on the left hand. F, A, C, E on the right hand. And then just keep your F major 7 on your right hand and put it over G on the left hand. So double G on the left hand and then F-A-C-E, which spells what? Face, okay? And then you're gonna play those group of chords one more time and that's that's the verse. So you got. And you play the same chords again. Okay, now the next section, I'm just calling it the B section because I don't know if it's a chorus. Seems like this song doesn't really have a chorus. So I call that what I just played for you, the verse, and then I said A section. And this, what I'm getting ready to show you now, is the B section. So you got... So you're on the F major 7 again. I shouldn't have... To, well, you know what? I'm doing a different inversion of F major 7, so I will spell it out. Uh, double F on the left hand, F-A-C-E. I know the other times I think I showed it to you up here. Right, so since I did do a different inversion, okay, F A C E on the right hand and just double F on the left hand, and that's eight beats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then E minor seven, double E on the left hand. You can put this B there if you want. B, D, E, G on the right hand. And then you're gonna go. Well, you're gonna go. Okay. That wasn't right. No, hold on. Let me do that one more time. Ah, that was right. Okay. So let's go over that. You do that real quick. You go. 
and then you move it right there. So let's look at that. So you have the A minor chord, double A, left hand, A, C, E, on the right hand. Then you're going to take your left hand, move it up to B, play that by itself. Keep the A, C, E down on your right hand. So you got like that. You see what I did? I kept the note down and I, and I moved over to B. So you got now when your left hand moves over to C, play your A minor again on your right hand. Okay. And that's an A minor over C. Double C left hand, A, C, E right hand. And then you're going to um, take your left hand, move it over to D. And your right hand moves down to G major. So that's a G over D chord. Double D on the left hand, G, B, D on the right hand. And then you're going to take your left hand and you're going to move it over to E. And then your right hand, you're going to move back over to A minor. So that's an A minor over E. It's double E on the left hand, A, C, E on the right hand. So that whole section you got like that. And it's real and it goes real fast. So you got like that. And then you're gonna go back to the F major seven again. Double F left hand, F A C E on the right hand. That's eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can go to your D minor seven or D minor nine. I'm yeah, I'm saying just do D minor nine. Uh, D A D left hand, F A C E right hand, and then put it over G in the bass. All right, so double G on the left hand, and you still got F A C E on the right hand. Okay, and then you just go back to the A section again. again this is the a section the verse then the b section is back to the verse again or whatever okay so you go back from verse to b section whatever that is and when you get to the end of the song they're going i, I just called it the outro but you play it exactly 100 percent like you played the intro so the intro and the outro is the same thing it's the same chord so we'll just go through it so you'll go one two three four no need to spell them out because i already did it at the beginning of the video right then you got Now you hit the D minor nine. The last time you just went and we just quickly did it. But this time when you hit the D minor nine, just lay on it for four beats. One and slow it down. And then you want to do the F major seven over G. Okay, that's F A C E on the right hand over G. And what we didn't do on the inch, well, technically we did. So and then you just end the song on C major seven. Or if you want to be real slick, C major nine, which will be B, D, E, and G on your right hand, while you got C, G, C on the left hand. Okay, so that ending, the outro. <laughs> oh, I had to put that in there. All right, y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.